Welcome to Agriculture Academy, where we show you how to start a profitable business in agriculture. Remember to like and subscribe so that you never miss out on any new videos. In this video, we are going to discuss some methods of bulb propagation. The methods we are going to highlight include propagation via offsets, bulblets, scaling, basal cuttage, cuttings and micropropagation. Offsets. These are a type of side shoot that grow from the base of the bulb. Offsets are removed from the mother bulb when they are dug up and replanted into the soil. Tulips and daffodils are commonly propagated using offsets. Bulblets. Bulblets are small, immature bulbs that grow on the mother plant. They may develop on the aerial stem. Bulblets that develop on the aerial stem are called bulbuls. These bulbuls form in the axils of the leaves and may fall to the ground shortly after the plant has flowered. Easter lilies can be propagated through bulblet removal. Scaling. When scaling, the individual scales of the bulb are removed. The scales are then kept in the right environment to allow for three to five small bulblets to form on the base of the scale. Most lily species can be propagated this way. Basal cuttage. The specific techniques of scoring and scooping fall under the general term basal cottage. Bulbs which have finished flowering must be used. When scooping, the whole basal plate is scooped and removed from the bulb. The scoop must be made deep enough to remove the main stem. New bulbs then develop on the exposed bulb scales. When scoring, cuts are made across the bulb's base, deep enough to slice through the growing point. These wounded growing points then grow bulblets. Hyacinth is one of the most popular plants propagated by basal cutting. Cuttings. Stem, leaf and bulb cuttings can be used to propagate some species. Lilies can be propagated by stem cuttings. After flowering, the stem is cut. However, instead of growing new roots and shoots, new bulblets grow in the axils of the leaves. Leaf cuttings are used to propagate blood lilies. Well-developed leaves are removed from the stem, and the basal ends are submerged in rooting medium. New bulblets will then begin to develop at the bases of the leaves. Hippistrium bulbs are propagated using bulb cuttings. In this method, a mature bulb is cut into vertical sections. The cutting should contain a part of the basal plate and have three to four scales attached. The cuttings are planted into a rooting medium so new bulblets can develop in between the basal plate and scales. Mic propagation. Typically, bulb scales are placed into an in vitro culture. The meristematic tissue near the basal plate produce adventitious shoots from the scales. And that's that for our summary on the various methods of bulb propagation. Keep an eye out for more videos in this series of bulb propagation. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.